Mueller's ratchet is a stochastic extinction of genotypes, particularly wild type or most fit genotypes within a population, without a corresponding extinction of the wild type alleles. This can only occur if, in fact, there is no sex within a population, because otherwise, if there was sex, there's the possibility of reconstitution of the wild type genotype from the wild type alleles. But without sex, once you've lost the wild type genotype, it's gone unless you have back mutation restoring it, which is considered to be unlikely. If you look here, we've got the wild type genotype here indicated by the three uppercase alleles. Um, you have a potential for mutation, so here we have loss of this genotype uh, where indicated by the lowercase alleles. Um, by genetic drift, and specifically by genetic drift, there's the potential for stochastic loss of the wild type allele. Now this loss is going against natural selection, but if the population size is small enough uh, and the number of mutations uh, of, of mutated uh, genotypes is, is high enough as a fraction of the population, there is a reasonable possibility that in fact you're going to lose the wild type genotype. Once you've lost the wild type genotype, the fitness of the population as a whole has now declined because you're missing the most fit individuals within the population. If you can't have sex, and if the likelihood of, of a back mutation to the wild type alleles is low, which we assume it is, uh, then you have, in a sense, lost that wild type genotype forever. And in fact, the next thing to go will be potentially the next most fit genotype, and so on and so on, so long as genetic drift is operating within the population at a sufficiently high rate. Now, reconstitution of the wild type genotype can occur if in fact you can have sex. So here I'm showing the cross between that individual and that individual. Both of them are supplying wild type alleles and together they've got all of the alleles that were present initially in the wild type genotype and among their progeny, among their recombinant progeny, uh, will be the wild type genotype. It can be argued that one benefit associated with periodically participating in sex uh, is that it helps to defeat uh, Mueller's ratchet. That is, it can restore the wild type genotype within a population.